go ahead and start drilling some holes for the six by six post for the lean-to. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to put some concrete in the bottom of it. It's 5'11 now. Hopefully we'll get all this done in about an hour and a half. Okay, this lean to is going to be 60 feet long and it's going to overhang uh, 14 feet. We're putting the post out to 12 feet, so there's going to be about a two foot overhang. So it's going to be a good size lean to. It's going to be big enough to put our camper underneath of it and uh, as well as possibly a couple of tractor implements, maybe my tractor. So, yeah, that's what we're doing here. As you can see, Courtney's on the back, she's helped guiding the auger down, and I'm on the tractor. And I know how to run a tractor better than anybody, so. <laughs> it's true. He always wants me to do the tractor work, and I just don't want to do it. I'd rather be back there dodging little rocks as they get thrown in the air. But per usual, we hit a bunch of rocks here, so you'll see us really struggle to get them out. Okay, we got all six posts dug. Now we just gotta go through them and clean them out real good so we can put some concrete footers in there. So we just gotta get some of that dirt out. But not bad, we had a couple rocks we had to dig out, but otherwise it went pretty smoothly. So we're gonna keep right on moving and it's just James and I tonight. Nobody's here helping. So we got our three kids with us, they're over here. I'll show you what they're doing. I'll tell you what, we're blessed with these boys. They are very content while we work most of the time. Hey boys. You guys got trucks and tractors? I pull the grass really tight and start doing that. Cut it. Oh, nice. Woo! James is going to start getting concrete ready while I'm over here cleaning out the holes. Pouring concrete here in our first hole. Perfect. Babe, how much concrete was that? Bag and a half. All right. And we're done. We got all the concrete poured into every hole. So we're ready to go this week. I work the next four days. So James, when he gets home with the boys in the evening, about 5.30, he'll work on starting to set these posts. But anyway, it's definitely cold, but it's sunny. I'd much rather have this than rainy weather. All right, that's it. Here is the update. Unfortunately, we did not get any footage of this because James's phone died when he was over here the other day. But this is what my dad and James got done while I was at work this week. They got every single one of the posts over here set and they got concrete in every single hole. So this is the lean to. So now it's actually gonna rain the next two to three days nonstop. So James here has his chainsaw and he's gonna get up there. So he just used his transit laser level and he marked all these posts. Now he's gonna go down the line and cut them all so we can attach the rafters. What are those boys doing? They're playing in the woods, having a blast. I started using the chainsaw, but with the chainsaw above my head, it is extremely dangerous. So I put that down and I use the more safe circular saw. The cordless DeWalt circular saw does okay, but it's just slow to cut. And it's done. All the tops are cut off. I'll come over here to show this view because it kind of shows the lean to a little bit better. It's going to be nice. So we'll be able to come over here with the tractor and back the implements up there. Okay, now I am notching out the posts at the top using a combination of the circular saw and a sawzall. 
That way the two by tens, uh, there's two of them sandwiched together that creates like a beam for the rafters to sit on. This will create like a pocket for those to sit on. So they're actually resting on the six by six posts instead of just bolted to the outside. I think this looks nicer, but I think bolted or set on these pockets, either one probably works just fine. Out. Now we're going to make the uh, two by ten beam. These are going to be double stacked, and they're going to fit in those slots that we cut. Cutting them down to twelve foot right now. Got all of the first boards up. Now we just need to put up the second ones. Starting to look like a lean-to. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put up the second board. We went ahead and checked level on this one. It's, it's very, very close. So the second one, we're gonna put the decking screws, plus we're gonna put these GRK structural screws in there. These things are pretty nice, so I should draw everything in real nice and tight and be uh, structurally sound. So once we get that done, we'll go ahead and cut some rafters. We got the chalk line done. It is so windy, but now we're going to go through a mark two foot on center. So basically what we did is we stretched a long measuring tape across the entire length of the barn and I went through and marked it every two feet on center and poor James, by the time I got to the end, I think his forearm was about to fall off because it took me a long time to mark it all the way down, but he did a great job holding it there for me. Now James is going through and hanging all of our hangers. Okay, we're putting up the rafters right now. I made a jig rafter that way I can trace it out on each one and it'll be the exact same each time. So we're cutting a bird's mouth. We're cutting about a 212 angle on uh, the one end. We're hanging them in the joist hangers and then we're fastening them down at the bottom. So this is my jig here. We're about to cut one out. James got more rafters on. They're all done except for just a few at the back. And that's actually because we ran out of hangers. So we got to pick a few more of those up this week at the store, but otherwise the lean-to is looking wonderful. 
Here's a couple pictures of the progress from that night. The lean-to on the barn is looking absolutely amazing. And here's some drone footage that James took the next day as well. It looks so good. We haven't really looked at the barn from this angle yet with the drone up in the air, and it really does a great job at showing how big this barn is, the barn's location, and just the progress. James has put so much time into this pole barn build, and he has worked so hard and saved us so much money, and it just looks incredible. I don't think people realize how much time actually goes into a project like this until they do it themselves but anyway his hard work and dedication has once again paid off it looks amazing we can't wait to have it done but for now we're just going to enjoy this footage and then we'll get back to making more progress and show you how we finished the lean to so james got these last few roof rafters in now he's just going through and measuring and marking and cutting off the ends so they're all level at the edges and then the lean to is done James has now started to add those purlins that you can see he's got the first row done now he's putting on the second row this may seem a little bit obvious but what works best for us is when we honestly just work together what I was doing here was just cutting any boards that were not the correct length and then I was just leaning them up against the lean-to and when he's ready for him he can either grab them or if he can't reach him I would just hand them up to him and that process goes a lot faster because all he has to do is lay them down screw them in done update it's a few days later and we are outside working it's been raining all day and it's been really nasty outside but the rain finally let up so of course james is out here working on the barn you can see those first two rows of purlins that we got on a couple days ago and now james has added more to it Carlins look really good from up here. Look at that. Now you need to make a correction here if you're following this video as an actual tutorial. That last two by four purlin that James is putting down that's butted up against the barn, do not do that. Stretch it out a little bit because the metal piece that goes there, I can't remember if it's called metal flashing. I don't know what it is, but it's like an L-shaped piece of metal that's gonna come down the side of that barn and then extend onto the top of that roof by a couple of inches. And we could not screw it in because those two by fours were too close to the barn. It actually needs to be padded out a couple of inches. So just letting you know, don't butt that up to the barn. Look at that. Man, it looks good. The roof looks good too. Babe. Here's what it looks like from underneath. Great job, babe. It looks fantastic. I can leave it on. Was that hard? It was a pain in the butt. It was uh, out of everything that we've done for some reason, purlins. That was annoying. Yeah, plus every time you try to do purlins, it's really windy. And it's muddy and nasty. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about the purlins? We just put two by four purlins up there. We got eight rows. It's a 14 foot span. They're two foot on center. So I use screws and not nails. I feel like that helps with the. Uh, holding down the roof and yeah doesn't look too bad and these right here are the screws that he used to put all those purlins in and there it is the lean-to looks absolutely amazing james per usual did such a good job thanks for watching and have a great week